and welcome back to episode 30 of my Minecraft FB Let's Play series. So today I wanted to work on something which is really neat. Not sure how many of you will enjoy this, um, but this is another like tech technical mumbo jumbo episode where we're going to work on something that is going to help us in the long run. So thank you to everyone who sent me tutorials and how to's on Matter Overdrive and Discord. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I plan on doing Matter Overdrive next episode, but before we do that, I want to get ready with this thing before we do Matter Overdrive, so we've got things to do. So I want to do uh, Applied and Logistics Auto Crafting in this episode, which will make things a lot easier in the long run for us to craft. So, what better way to do this than to write my own tutorial and help you guys out if you've never done it before. Alright, so AE2 Auto Crafting. First off, we're going to need a pattern terminal. So let's start it. Awesome. I might add music. We'll turn this into an auto crafting and chill. You know, like Netflix and chill. <laughs> I might add music. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to need a pattern terminal to start off. So. Just going to need some shit. Oh my god. This is why I want to do auto crafting so I don't need to do all this by hand anymore. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, we should have terminal here, and then pattern terminal. Oh, come on! Pattern terminal! Sweet, okay. Yeah! Um, I made a room for this. Um, well, not a room, I made room. I made room for it. Not a room. <laughs> I made a room for the uh, Matter Overdrive area, which I hope you guys like. Yes! It was cool, huh? I think, maybe? I don't know. I'll probably switch it, eventually. I wanted to have engineer block, engineer orientated blocks, but we need to get to Vada first before we can do that. Um, awesome. So the room I made was just down here. So, well, the room. <laughs> I made room down here. Okay. So, I guess right here is fine. Oh, shit. You're going to break the entire thing, aren't you? Oh, no. Okay. We're good. All right. Let's get some things going. Okay, so, let's do this. Ow. Elevator here. Not torch, elevator. Thank you. And then... Elevator here. Ah, that's easy. Okay. Alright, cool. And then we'll just get some cabling that goes down here. Whoop. And... Boop. Okay, we have the pattern terminal. So this allows us to encode patterns into recipes. Um, so if we go over here, ta-da, we can encode patterns into recipes. Cool. So then we just need to make some uh, pattern patterns. So what are they called? Blank patterns. Yeah. So we just need to make some blank patterns. Oh my god, are you serious? Am I out of glowstone? Oh, nope, it's just I've turned it all into glowstone. Can I crush this? Please let me crush this. I don't want to go to the nether. Please. Yay! Okay. Alright, cool. So, pattern. So this will allow us to make patterns. Cool. So we got some blank patterns. Then we just put them in there. Cool. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this pattern encoding thing. Oh, we'll get around to it eventually, though. Um, next up, we're going to want to make a um, ME interface. Just a simple ME interface. Of it.
Do I need a crafting terminal down here as well? God damn it. There we go. Um, so we need a 16k crafting storage next. Alright, cool. Then we just need one of those. And bam, we got a 16k storage. Let's place that right next to the crafting monitor. There, see? It's already a block. It's already a block. Okay. Next up, next up. Wood. Crafts. Now! Did I... Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. Wood. Crafts. Now! Then hit start! <laughs> Yay! It's crafting wood! Fun! Okay. So, to make this actually look more neat, I can turn this guy into a little one that's connected onto there, and I can put... So, in total, that's two, four, six, eight, what, two, four, six, eight, nine? Nine slots? I don't know. So, like, nine slots. Nine different crafting recipes I can have in this one terminal. Um, I mean, Emmy, Emmy interface. Then I can put another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, and another one underneath. So, that's, like, a lot. So, what are things we generally want a lot of? Well, you remember how I did fluid storage a while ago? Remember how I did that? See here? We got the fluid storage and we got the creosoil creosoil oil that's coming in from the from the thingy over here. Oh my god, we're already out. Anyway, you know how it's all being sucked into the system? We can finally actually use this. So if we go here and we go back down. Even though I built an elevator. <laughs> and we want creosoil. Oh, we want the bottles, don't we? Okay, say we want treated wood. You know, that thing that's really annoying to make. So, we want a creosote bucket, yeah? Okay, so, we want treated wood. This is all we have to do, okay. So, find the actual fucking truck. <laughs> find the original crafting recipe if I can ever find it. Jesus Christ. There we go. And let's get a creosote bucket. Or a bucket. Um, then we're going to need to get the career sort out. So, to do this, we're going to need to make a fluid terminal. Uh, so we can actually access the liquids we have. Okay, cool. Do we have the stuff? Awesome. Fluid terminal. Ta-da! Cool. So, let's just get a sample of career sort oil. There we go. Um, then let's...
spray sword oil. Missing one bucket. Okay. We don't have any buckets? Really? Oh, yep. <laughs> so that should allow us to make spray sword oil. Should. We just need to switch this to... Um... There we go. Awesome. Push and pull. Nice. So, we're able to make cresort oil now uh, with buckets. Bam! Cresort oil. Ta-da! Sweet. So, yeah, I forgot to do... That was one of the crucial parts to the whole system. Holy shit. So, we needed a fluid export bus to tell it um, to constantly put cresort oil into here. Um, and then we needed the ME interface connected to this thing and this is the this is the this is the other type of um, auto crafting I was talking about earlier so you've got crafting patterns which are just the normal vanilla crafting patterns like you know when you if you want to craft like a stone or something or you want to craft a wool out of string you got that one and then you've got the processing patterns which are completely customizable and essentially you don't need this thing you just need to connect uh, for instance we're gonna we're gonna do this as well before we hop off um, Let's make a, uh, what are they called? Sag mill. Actually, you know what? Let's just make a smelter. We'll make a smelter. Do we have enough stuff to make smelter? Off, off the bat. All right, so, got a smelter. Cool, alloy smelter. Um, this is, uh, I'm gonna show you an example of how you can work with the processing, processing patterns similar to this thing. So let's just put this here. Sure, that works. Just get a random capacitor, whatever. Um, give it power. I'm not going to leave this here. I'm just doing this for proof of concept. Actually, you know what? I might actually leave it here. Cool. So, say we want sand to make glass at any point. Let's get another cable. Another interface. Uh, turn that interface into a tiny one. Doesn't have to be a tiny one. I just like it being a tiny one. Bam. Bam. And then get another crafting pattern. There we go. Make sure this is on processing pattern. Okay, so say we want sand. Wait, really? Where's all the sand? Ah, oh, there we go. One sand equals one glass. Well, this thing actually um, crafts in um, sets of three. So if we do that, okay, well, I can show you anyway. Um, so if we do one sand equals one glass, it's going to put one sand in there um, and then it's going to smelt the glass up and then it'll take the glass. So granted, we do this first. There we go. Actually, it doesn't do two sets of three. You can just smelt one at a time, can't you? Yeah, you can. Sweet. Um, okay, cool. So, once we put the pattern in here, if we want glass, we can now craft it. So, 100 glass, please. Go. There. Craft glass for us, we'll get the glass. GG. It's awesome, huh? Auto crafting for the win! We can do this with almost everything in the entire base. I am so excited to do this. Uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this, one of the main reasons, um, was to do with this isolinear circuit system from um, Matter Overdrive, because it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so we'll do this as well. Just one more on camera, and we'll probably finish up for today because this is the main premise of today's episode just to get this system working so I can show you guys how to do it if you want to do it for yourselves cool 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 um, but then yeah the rest is just pretty much the same thing over and over um, just a lot of infrastructure and stuff so molecular inscriber cool that needs power as well god damn it cool uh, let's get another interface I can't be bothered making a small one that works. So, I've already crafted a bunch of these, but I'm not sure how many I'm actually going to need for when I actually start Matter Overdrive. The episode's going to be about matter replication, actually, so we can turn items into other items. 
Yeah, baby. Um, okay, cool. So, need more patterns. You know what? I'm sick of making patterns, so... Can I just, like, do that? Thank you. And do this. Yay, now I can craft patterns. <laughs> Ten. So, I want isolinear chips, okay? I want these. So... Just a hunk of stone made out of shit. Um, so, yeah. Next episode, uh, we should be absolutely ready for um, Matter Overdrive. Um, we can start replicating items. Um, cool. And then, at some point, I want to become an android. Don't know when, but soon. Soon. How you doing? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up those eggs. I'm gonna pick them up. Let's have a look. Um, one, two, three, four. Because I want you to lay more. I am going to get around to doing an episode centered around these eggs. There is much I plan to do. What the fuck? 
Oh wait, there was five eggs there. There was an invisible one! <laughs> oh my god. Or was it invisible or was it just stacked on top of this one? Probably. Yeah, it was. There was five eggs. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh god. Alright. These guys... These guys can go in here for, go in here for now. Holy shit, that was a long episode. Well, for me anyway, because I did a lot of fuck-ups, and when you're doing a tutorial, well, sort of like a tutorial, when I'm trying to show you guys how to do it, you don't want to see me fucking up, because then you lose all hope in me, don't you? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I've been working on the cosmetics of the base a little bit as well. Um, yeah, just a bit of mining, a little stuff off camera. It's all fun. I've been eating all the cakes Nunku built here during um, Christmas. <laughs> I've been using them, don't worry. Awesome. How is he doing, by the way? Oh, he's probably busy. I don't want to bother him. Okay, cool. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you in the next one. Adios.